Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to get started with Python in NetBeans IDE 802. To get started, go to the NetBeans homepage, netbeans.org, click download, and make sure that you download NetBeans IDE 802 because all the instructions that follow apply to this particular release. Also make sure that you don't take a larger distribution than you need, so don't use all unless you really need all. So are you going to be doing Java card connected development? Are you going to be doing Java ME development? Are you going to be doing C, C++ development? If not, you probably don't need all. I've installed Java SE and the instructions that follow apply to this particular distribution, though the other distributions, it should work fine as well. When we're on the Python for NetBeans 802 download page on the plugin portal, you can see that there's a button with download on it. And then you click it, and then you open, and then the download begins. Once the download has completed, you will have a zip file and extract the content of that zip file to a folder on your disk. Once you've unzipped those files from the zip file, go to Tools and Plugins inside NetBeans IDE, go to the Downloaded tab, click Add Plugins, and go to the folder where you've downloaded those files. Select all of them, click Open, click Install, click Next, click the checkbox, click Install, click Continue, Click Finish, and in the bottom left you can see Turning On Modules Done. Click Close. After you've installed it, click on the orange button, New Project. Select Python Project, click Next. You should probably wait a little bit for NetBeans to find all the installations of Jython and Python that you can make use of. These are the ones that you've installed and that have been correctly registered by the installer or by yourself on your operating system. I'll choose Jython 253. I'll say hello Python and click finish. You can see that in the projects window, a logical view is provided. And in the editor, we see our hello world Python. Example, we click the green button, the application runs, and we see our Hello World message. Features such as code completion, so when you press Control Space, are not supported yet. That's coming up next. When you go to Tools and Options, and you go into Fonts and Colors, you will see that if you go to Python, Python is included. So you can customize all of the elements in the Python language to be the color that you would like it to be. Also, there's a Python tab here that relates to the debugger. So there's also debugger support. But at this point, we've simply seen um, the starting sequence, how to open a project and how to get started with it. Let's now start the debugger, which we can also do. So debug main project. And you can see that the first statement is reached. So we can actually step over our code, as you would expect, with a debugger. That's it. The basics for doing Python development for NetBeans IDE 802 are now available. Thanks, and have fun with Python in NetBeans.